Before we start, make sure you know your serial number and the product key. Also make sure to have an access to any online computer and factory talk activation manager in the same version as is installed on both offline and online machine. If you use different versions of the activation manager, upgrade it first so you have matching versions. For further instruction, please refer to the TechNode installation process of Factory Talk Activation Manager. Also remember that the following method works for the Activation Manager version 4.00.02 and higher. We start by creating data file on an offline computer. Open Factory Talk Activation Manager and go to Get New Activations. I need to start the activation process by creating a data file. Specify data file. Select where you want to save the data file and click Get Bindings. Confirm the binding and create the file by clicking Create Data File. As you have probably noticed, the data file has appeared on our desktop. Now move the XML data file to any online computer with the same version of Factory Talk Activation Manager installed. Open the Activation Manager, go to Get New Activations, and put in your serial number and the product key that you want to activate. If you have more serial numbers, simply add them by clicking the Add button. Pick Validate Activation. After license is validated, in column Binding, click the binding box. Then click the button with three dots and import binding from the XML file. We will pick the binding for the offline machine. Pick Select. You should see that the binding has changed. Now you can download the activation. When downloaded, click on the location path and copy the file to your offline computer. Back at your offline computer, Go to Manage Activations, Get New Activations, pick I have downloaded activation files and need to move them to this computer, choose Specify File Location, point to your desktop or to any other location you transferred the license file to, and then hit Move Files. To double check if the license got imported, let's go to Find available activations and refresh the server. As you see, the license is available and running. If for any reason license still does not show up, go to Advanced and hit Refresh Server. After the server states goes green again, you're ready to work with your licenses.